hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the title of this is spend a day with me as a small business owner i was thinking about this morning i was like mm, i'm gonna record today i'm gonna vlog today I have a soft place it up to do and i was like i'm gonna tie it um as a small business owner because i don't actually give myself enough props that I did start a small business and that is it's actually doing very well i thought it would be a lot slower than this um this is going to be my first setup of the year that sounds crazy i did not take any bookings for january february march i wasn't even gonna i was gonna start back towards the end of april beginning of may but um today is my friend's son's first birthday and i was like you know what gonna do the soft play for him and then we're just gonna start off here and i did start taking bookings when did i start taking bookings last week i think i started taking bookings again so i already have two saturdays next month three saturdays next month and one saturday is not booked for next month and then we've got may as well so i started taking bookings again and can you believe that for the fact that i started last year august and i started taking bookings last week that i already got four bookings for four different Saturdays, three and eight point one in May. So my my business, my small business, is actually doing really well, and I don't. I need to give myself like more props for the fact that it's actually going really good, and more the soft play side than the sweet cones. I feel like sweet cones, they they can sell. I feel like you have to really push to get those to sell. The only thing with those is that it's just everyone does it themselves. It's not like it's something, if like a lot of people can't do. It's like something you can do. Um, the only thing is if they want them like fancy looking that's when I get like the orders but if it's like you're filling them up with, like Harry bows, then obviously you do that yourself but in terms of like I need to clean my hands in terms of like the actual soft play hire it's actually going really well so my aim is by June that um, not that I order I want to order them next month maybe the end of April so that they come by the beginning of June I just want to add some more to the soft play. I want to be able to hire out some more stuff. Um, I also need to push the stuff that I I do have of like, for example, like we have like chair covers and stuff. I have to push that out. I think we've got 100 or 150 white chair covers. We've got like a donut wall. We've got like so much stuff that I've not properly advertised on the Instagram account. I'm thinking how I can change it. I feel like I want it to look a bit different, but at the same time, I don't want to delete everything that's on there. I don't know too much about Instagram. I also want to start a TikTok for the soft play business and um, a specific like Facebook page. And then I'm also trying to do a website. So yeah, I also want to do a flyer so I can like hand it out. I like to his nursery, I like, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. But for the flyer and i, I want to have the other items before i make that flyer do you know what i mean but yeah anyway guys spend a day with me it's currently 7 a.m we're going to the gym the hire is for the party starts at three however i'm gonna date she gets the hall at one so i'm gonna go for one half one um my nan's gonna come here about 12 half 12 and pick up the stuff so i need to be back by like 11 but i'll be back by then but i'm gonna go gym for an hour um nothing too heavy because i don't feel too good but we're gonna do a nice hour in the gym and then we're gonna come home i did wash up already and we're just gonna tidy up and then decided if i want to take both kids with me today they were both invited but i'm thinking like the timings that i'm gonna go the baby's most definitely gonna be sleeping and i don't want to go and then come all the way back home to get them and then go back. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the gym and then we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to get ready and we're going to go do the soft play setup. And you guys are also going to do the setup with me. We're off to the gym. We could walk to the gym. It's like a 25 minute walk. Um, maybe if I speed walk, it'd be like 20 minutes. However, with the way I'm feeling, we're not going to walk. We're going to take the bus. Sorry. We're going to play the 175 and say the bus is like about six bus stops, something like that. But I'm actually really proud of myself that I'm actually going. But I don't know why, I just I don't feel too good, man. But we got to push through because today is a work day. So let's go to the gym. Nine o'clock. 
grow up there, but I've finished now. Um, I feel much better that I came. I don't feel like sick or anything anymore, but I'm really glad that I came. But it's 9 o'clock and I'm finished. I'm home now and I'm hungry. We were hungry. But I did stop off at Card Factory because I needed to get a gift bag for one of her presents. So I got him this one from Card Factory and then I also just got him. He just woke up. Yeah. Uh, I just got him a card as well. Which I'm gonna write up quick. And then I went into Primark and I just didn't, nothing caught my eye to be honest. Apart from these earrings, they were two pound fifty. And this is how they look. Cute. I might wear them today. I, when I was on the bus, I was like, "Oh, we should got lashes." Because I remember the last time I wore lashes, and I'm like, "Oh," because I want to take a nice picture next to the soft play today. So I actually should have got lashes. I might be able to go back, but it's just like, can I be bothered? No. Um, then I quickly pop to Iceland. I love the fact that Iceland is literally just across the road. We've got Sainsbury's, we've got Iceland, we've got all the shops across the road. <coughs> That's my water bottle. Really fancy, like tuna, tuna and sweet corn, you know, like those soft pita breads. That's really cut. Oh, I didn't have none. So I got the tuna, didn't have the pita bread, so I just got bread rolls because I do love these. Um, they were like three for three pounds. So I got two because the date is like the April and then I got these to make up the three pounds because the kids like these. Got sweet corn because I don't think I've really I never use this washing up liquid. I always use the blue squirty one. I didn't have it so got that for a pound and then I just got two of these drinks. These are what Alistair really likes at the moment, so I got them two. So I'm going to quickly, it is about half two. All the stuff on the floor. It's about seven to ten. I've got to make sure I'm ready by twelve. So I'm gonna quickly write up his card. I'm gonna make this up as well so I can eat because I'm actually hungry. And then we're just gonna tidy up. I need to shower, get ready, pick out the kids' outfits, and then just make sure we're ready by twelve. So I'm gonna make myself something to eat and write up this card and put his gifts in the gift bag. And then I'll come back to you guys when. I think I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm ready to go so that you guys I don't know if you guys have seen my um I've got like work like work tops basically so it says like the business name on it it's real cute yeah so you guys are gonna see my little personalized top and then I'm trying to think do I take like another top with me um or should I just stay in that for the whole party you know we're 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 promoting do you know what I mean so I feel like I should just stay repping TXA all day I don't know, but then I won't want to be in it. I don't know, maybe I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to come back to you guys when I've showered and everything and when I'm ready and going to pack up my nan's car with the sort of play stuff. I'm back outside because I forgot to buy the Weetabix and that's the only thing the baby eats in the morning is Weetabix. So I'm quickly running to Sainsbury's to go and get the Weetabix for him. Because I know my baby's hungry. I'm really hungry as well. Guys, I have a theme for my birthday and I'm excited because I can start planning. I've got a theme. I said what people are going to wear. Then I have a colour scheme in terms of like everything else, in terms of decorations. It's just to kind of decide, like start looking and decide what I want. If I want like my name in lights, like my name lit up in light or decide if I want it that like I have like, like, numbers so like, i have like the two and the five or i can like have the letters to put like s-h-a-n or i don't know i've got to decide but i'm actually excited because i finally got a sleep and i've got enough time to plan to try and find like a venue and stuff i'm excited secured the goods i do buy like sainsbury's own brand or little because the baby still eats it so because why is wheat a bit so expensive that's crazy. I'm ready. We're very much running behind schedule. It is currently half one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave in about 10 minutes. The party doesn't start actually until three o'clock. So as long as I'm there by like half two is fine. I'm gonna get there for two o'clock though. 
yeah there's just a lot of confusion today so yeah but anyway i'm ready i'm in my uniform we're repping in case you didn't know the name it is txa events and soft play txa is like taya x Azaya, so it's gonna see my kids names i did do my edges but as you can tell i'm sweating sweating and i don't know why because i pulled all the stuff out of the room so i'm gonna quickly redo that because what the hell is that look i was even gonna put i was even gonna do my eyebrows put a little bit of foundation on i'm sweating so i'm not even gonna bother we look cute we're gonna go all natural today because you know we, we can do that we can go natural i'm natural most of the time so i don't know what to talk about but guys let me tell you i really 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 want to get my eyebrows microbladed yeah i don't know there's different ones i think i like the look of the one called combination brows sorry um i like the look of the one called combination brows i just i call them all microblading but you know what i mean like getting them perm like semi-permanently done um but yeah i like the look of the combination i'm sure it's combination ones there's like normal microblading there's micro shading there's combination there's ombre there's so many different ones but sorry there's so many different ones but i don't know but I really want to do it. I'm saying like next month late is like end of April. I need to have the appointment book to get them done just so that, you know, cause they, is it, they take 12, two weeks, six weeks to heal. So they'll be nice and healed for summer. It's basically the point at my birthday. But yeah, we're ready. Oh, we're not gonna talk about my kitchen. Uh, hey, I'm sweating. I'm gonna quickly go and redo this cause Oh, look, you can tell. I'm sweating. Ew. That's the gel. I used that red gummy one. I'm going to put some more gel on it before I... Look, Shanique, what are you doing? Go and put some gel on the thing. Go and put some gel. I'm going to go put some gel on it. And then I'm going to see you guys at the venue. I'm still stuck. What do I do? As I just fall asleep. Yeah, the chances are he's gonna he sleeps for about two to three hours in the day i don't know i think i'm gonna go set up come home if they're both awake i'm gonna take both of them i packed i picked their clothes and put them out on the table the changing bag is packed and stuff so yeah or i even ask alistair when i'm on my way back if they're both awake just get them both ready and if only one's awake then whichever one's awake i'll take type thing and then sneak what are you doing yeah that's the delivery man yeah oh i just want my eyebrows done i legit haven't got them shaped like plucked tweezed waxed nothing since last year because we're trying to make them grow out as much as they can which doesn't look like a lot what is that but I don't know, my eyebrows don't grow real fast, but you can see here, like, it's a bush. So when I let them grow out, when I go for my appointment to get them done, they'll be done because it just looks horrible. I don't like it. And it's like, the more I look at it, the worse they look to me. Oh, okay, anyway. See you guys on the video. In my stomach, there's a pain. You walk in my direction, I go the other up way. I start to stutter when I speak. You understand what I need is going. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window. Show my star for a sign. It's the reason why. Should I send an email at home? Mm -hmm. 
know one's up to the side I wonder if you know or Do you have a clue where I am? I lay my head on my pillow If you got me staring out the window We will show the stars on the side What's the reason why? Monday. I just, when was I record? I think on Saturday. It's now Monday. I've just been. I was so tired on Saturday. I was really trying to record like the whole setup, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. And then I was like, okay, I didn't really get to film too much of the setup. I will like record like what I do after. So after the party or the event, I go back to setup. In this instance, I was there for like the duration because. Um, it was a friend of mine so we was actually invited to the party so I got the invite before I was asked to do play so yeah my kids didn't end up coming because um, by the time like the party started and I called Alistair they were both asleep so it didn't make sense because by the time they woke up which was like six o'clock the party finished at seven so it didn't make sense so they didn't come but I got to give them party bags and stuff for them so I just sprung those back after the party had finished usually i would no, i don't usually do this but this time i did and i think it actually works out really well so i'm gonna continue to do that i um i usually just pack up the soft plate and get going this time because i was like okay we have time because I, my nan had to wait till everyone left before she could lock the hall because the booking went through my nan um so i actually cleaned all the soft play i usually take them home clean them and then put them away this time i cleaned them put them away so that when we got home they could just go straight away instead of me having to keep them out and clean it. so that was actually good so i'm gonna start doing that from now on but yeah because the music was really loud and there was like a dj and a big speaker and stuff i couldn't even record myself set it like taking the stuff down and my phone literally died did it die it was on like one percent and then it died so I couldn't even record even if I wanted to but it was a really nice day and I was I was um saying that day that I definitely don't give myself enough props I was actually getting asked so many questions because I was obviously wearing the work top I never like ran like another top so I didn't change of course Alice said it's me I'm sorry if you can have my washing machine it's not like a spin cycle but yeah I was wearing the work uniform so I was also getting questions and stuff which was really good and like um, someone was saying to me like it's actually a really good business to have but i thought you know what i never bought the stuff with the intention of doing it as a business i bought with the intention that every time like i have i do something for my kids like as in like anytime i can do something for them i will so in terms of like they both had christmas and then like the little after party after they always have like i always try to do something for their birthdays so it's always like i always would need them and then to keep hiring them out by the time you hire them out like five six times that person's already made their money back and then they're profiting so why can't i do the same so yeah that's how when we ordered them for his eyes christening which they didn't even come they come his christening was a sunday and they came the monday so of course when they were supposed to come on friday but um yeah it's just a good business to have because at, with me like my friends and stuff they'll always be kind of like kids around and everyone always like especially when the kid turns one they always want to do something for like their child's first birthday and stuff so it's quite a good thing to have the only thing i would say the downfall it's not really a downfall because it is quite high in demand but the fact that the soft play set is like all white you have to really keep on top of the cleaning and stuff but i definitely want to do like a whole video because i've always been asked questions and stuff on the soft play stuff realize that i'm in here um yeah just like always getting questions on like the soft play why i started it um in like terms of like goals and stuff for the business i don't want to say too much of like the, i know my goals but i don't want to say too much of what i have planned in terms of adding towards the business this year next year but i definitely want it to blow up which i believe it will not blow up that like i need to have tens of thousands of people like following or whatnot but i mean as in like constant with bookings because at the moment we get like every other saturday books do you get what i mean like when it comes to like months we get at least two bookings that are like two saturday bookings like a sunday booking i would love that 
throughout the summer we have like a every every weekend we have a booking type thing that's what i mean by like my business blow i'd be really happy with that obviously in terms of like november december january february times it's actually really quite slow because that's the colder month so people tend to not really do like parties and stuff for their kids or if it is it's at home so it's nothing big but yeah um you definitely want to add to the business i definitely want to make the business something that me and like this is this is the tricky part because i would love for it to be like me and friends but at the same time i don't want it to be me and friends because i don't want like our friendship getting messed up over business because essentially it's my business and anybody that does it with me you're i'm bringing you in but it's not like a i don't know how to explain it. but i definitely want the business to get to a point where i would need the help because you know we've got like soft play bookings we've got other bookings we've got i don't want to say what other stuff that we're going to start hiring in the next two months are going to be but we're going to have like bookings for like a few different stuff so it's going to be a thing if, if we've got two bookings on the same day and one needs to be a soft place here like for example late stone and then say like we need like something else booked out in rockford i'm gonna need okay well i'm gonna need someone to do one while i do one and that's what i mean by then it's going to be something like i'm going to bring friends to do it and then it kind of just go from there and my goal is that um we get to do an event and stuff but i'm going to talk about all of that in the like business business the video that i do about my small business but like i said i need to really i do take it serious but i need to take it a bit more serious and understand that Shanique, you are now a business owner you have people that you know and people that you don't know never met found you on social media and it's booking your services i need to get into the mindset actually your business owner when i think of a business owner i don't think of like me and that sounds really bad and that's what i need to get out of my head i think of like what do i think of like big brands do you get what i mean i don't think of like me but i am a business owner because i have started my own business and it's it's thriving it's actually doing really well and it's gone so much better than i expected and everyone that knows me says that it's actually going really well or like I don't know like i've seen other people start businesses and it goes so slow and mine's kind of just taken off a bit and that's why i took that break because i wasn't really expecting to get the amount of like um bookings that we got last year and i'm trying to really plan and start to do certain stuff the baby wants me but yeah i'm looking into like stuff like websites we used to do flyers i have business cards we just need to the business is there and the customers are there and um everything is there it's just for me to take the next step into making this business a bit i'm sorry about that i had to tend to the baby quick but yeah i just the business is doing well i need to take the next step to make sure that this business succeeds and it continues to succeed and we have a hard time right now um yeah but that's all gonna get spoken about in the video i do hopefully i'm gonna try and get the video recorded this week it's monday i think i'm gonna try and get out before by saturday so say friday saturday hopefully that video is out so i'm probably gonna do a little q a over on instagram so if you guys have any questions i'm gonna put that up tonight actually um so yeah if you guys have any questions this video is gonna be out tonight as well so the same time that this video comes out i'll put a q a over on instagram so then you guys can just ask me any questions business related and i'll try my best to answer them all but i'm gonna end this video here because i was to spend the day with me on saturday and it's now monday i did just go to tesco so i think i'm gonna give you guys a quick haul because you guys seem to love my hauls and then uh, we're gonna end the video here so let me give you guys a quick haul of everything that i got cool so it is easter monday and the shops were basically the tesco was near enough empty their fridge section hardly anything but i did get some stuff i think everything came up to like 82 pound or something like that so I got some eggs. I never buy eggs from Tesco. I shop from Tesco. I always buy my eggs from Iceland, but got it from Tesco. And then I just got this big box of wheat bits. I didn't need any because I bought one. When did I buy it? I think I bought it Saturday, right? I don't know. I think, but I just bought another one just so because I don't like running out of certain stuff like the kids cereals and stuff that I don't like to run out of. That's literally all that was in that bag. This bag I just bought my coffee. Ugh. onions i legit haven't had that coffee for no joke for about a month and i'm telling you i've missed it so much i've got these for our list of, um cowpole for the kids because our one's bad oh my gosh tesco started selling nala's baby this is the cream that i use on taya um as i get subscribed 
cream from the doctor but i use that one I love it i just got some envelopes some white envelopes because i needed some just got a mouthwash they didn't have the purple one that i usually like so i got that one i only got a small one because i don't know if i like that one well. got a bag of rice because my kids they don't eat pasta they literally only eat rice noodles and spaghetti that's it they don't eat couscous they don't eat pasta so i need to make sure i always have rice on deck this was the only pack of strawberries that tesco had the section was empty strawberries no strawberries no blueberries no raspberries nothing like that but this was the last pack i saw and it looked fine so i got it and then these little drinks for the kids they're like eight for two pounds something on club card so i got four waters, and then i got four of these strawberry ones this bag of snacks i've just got what's it for the baby that's what he has got this for me and alistair to try it looks nice it's just nice. um just got mini haribo okay i like the the orange ones and then me and alistair like them i just got some cotton buds because ours are basically done these for alistair I don't know why i picked up a big one and i got two packs of crackers two packs of these mini maryland cookies I then got these monkey smoothies for my kids because Taya absolutely loves them. I got a blue milk for the kids. I got a green one for myself. I'm usually a red milk kind of girl, but recently I've been saying I want to try the green one. I got these Actimals for other stuff. They just took out. I got a pack of pens. I don't have any black pens, which is really annoying. And I also bought a glue stick, which is in the bag somewhere. These for the kids. It was like £2.50 on Club Club, which was really good. They're just easy for like when you're going out. And then again, I just got these little fake fruit shoots the Tesco brand, but these taste much better than fruit shoots. And then I also got a pack of, I don't know if you can see, but a 12 pack of Nestle water um, as well. And I believe that is everything that I got today. The camera was like 84 pounds something, but my phone keeps telling me that I've run out of storage and I have no more to do. Look video to delete so i'm gonna end this video here hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and also press the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload a video and like i said the next video or maybe not the next one but maybe the next two videos will hopefully be my why i started my business and plans for that and answer you guys' questions if you do have any video suggestions then definitely message me or put them down below in the description box not the description box the comment section so that i can see what you guys would like me to record because i feel like my videos are just the same but we're rolling because you guys seem to like them so we're gonna keep doing them but yeah i will why do i keep doing that anyway i'll see you all in my next video bye guys